Hey guys, I hope your day is going well. Today I'm going to be reviewing Black Girl Sunscreen Kids Spray and Play SPF 50 Sunscreen. If this is something you're interested in, make sure to keep on watching. Wait. So I haven't tried out this spray sunscreen before. This is going to be my first time. Um, I ordered this on the 4th of April. And I can't actually remember how long it took to get here. I think maybe three weeks. And there's a card here and it states, thank you for your purchase. Enjoy black girl sunscreen, kids on the face and body. It also goes a long way. Stay moisturized and protect your skin. Okay. And this is the sunscreen. This is what the packaging looks like. In all honesty, it reminds me so much of the Morphe Continuous Mist. So let's try this on my skin. I'm going to do a hand swatch first. Then um, I go on to apply it on my body. And maybe try it on my face as well. Hmm. This comes out a lot. It sprays really well. This has a very different finish when compared to the ones I've tried from Neutrogena, I must say. Like the feeling, how it sprays out and you know, the dry down is totally different. So this is what my hand looks like after application. I like it. On this side, I have the sunscreen and on this side, I don't have the sunscreen. It's not greasy. It's not oily. It just has this very nice glow that it gives the skin. And in terms of feeling, I don't know how to explain this part. You know when you apply a body oil that sinks into the, your skin very well, but gives you a bit of radiance. Yeah, that's the word. Radiance. Yeah, this is this sunscreen is giving me that vibe. <laughs> I really do like it. Okay, before I overhype this particular sunscreen, let me try it on my body to see if I'm going to get the same result. I'm going to take my strap to the side, like so. And um, I'm going to apply it to just this side of my body and we we'll use here to compare. I know the brand stated that we should apply little as it goes a long way, but you guys, sunscreen, you have to be generous, especially when you're using like a spray sunscreen. Spray sunscreens are really different from actual cream-based sunscreen or lotion-based sunscreen. Okay. This is really moisturizing, I must say, on the skin. So on my body... There's definitely a sort of difference. You guys can see that here where I apply the sunscreen has radiance and um, here has, here that I have no product, it's just there. So when you apply this on your body and if you went with as much as I did, this is going to give you that body oil vibe. So if you have like dry skin, because my body is my body is dry, like me, I'll just go in with you know a lightweight body lotion. And when I get to the beach or while I'm heading out, I'll just spray this on. I don't know how to explain it. I really do like this particular one. I'm not going to jump into conclusion and say this is the best body spray sunscreen i've used but it's really nice now i feel like trying the adult version but i don't know if i'm gonna buy it because it's how much it's, i think it's about nine dollars more expensive can you guys see i really do like this side let me try it on my face because some people would like to see how this looks like on the face let me dry out my palm and I'm going to use another one to dry my face in case of any excess shine that you're seeing. Oh, 
Okay, so for spray sunscreens that are for face and body, it's always recommended by the brands that you should spray on your palm or spray in your palm, rub together and apply to face. I'm sure the same brand states that. Do not spray directly to face. Spray on your hands, then apply to face. Do not apply in windy conditions. Use in a well-ventilated area to avoid inhalation. So I won't really recommend you to use this on your face, except you're using it to reapply, if that makes sense. Because sometimes when you spray, you may not necessarily spray to cover up everywhere. Even if you use it in your palm, you may not be using the, you know, adequate amount. You know, for lotion-based um, sunscreens, you have to use like two-finger method or three-finger method, whichever one works for you. And there's, you know, actually a one over four teaspoon that works because that's what I use. So with a spray, you can't really do that except I actually carry spray and spray it in. Now I think about that, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Let me get my spoon. So I've gotten my spoon and um, if you want to purchase this, links will be in the description box. I actually like the fact that this spritz out well, so I'm going to get a good amount fast. Oops. You just really have to be careful. Yes. See? So I'm going to apply this in two batches, so take half of it. Put it on my lap. Okay, second one. So I'm done applying. I want to give it about 15 minutes. Let me set my timer so that we see how this is going to look like. If it's going to get matte or, you know, I don't know. I've set my timer. So let's see how this is going to look in a bit. Time is counting down. And yay! So this is what my skin looks like. 15 minutes after application on my face and body i'm getting the same vibe from their lotion based sunscreen um to be specific the children one i think that or rather i feel that the adult version of the lotion based sunscreen gives me more shine as opposed to the kids version so i feel like i'm going to get the same vibe as well with the sprays um on the adult version i can see that the name is make it glow spf 30 and it's three hours smaller than the children version and it's more expensive but i'm going to go for the kid version anytime any day so this retails for eleven dollars 99 cents the adult version is eighteen dollars 99 cents so let's talk about the product claims so this claims to give you a hydrating and smooth touch on the skin it is non-sticky meaning it gives you a dry touch finish it definitely does absorb well into the skin leaving you with a very nice healthy looking radiance claims to be water resistant fragrance free let me check fragrance free i can't check water resistance today but i'm going to be taking this maybe i'll be going to a beach soon and i'll see how waterproof this is and i'll update you guys in the description box or in the comment section When you spray this, the first smell immediately you bring it close to your nose you get is the alcohol scent. When this dries down, you're going to start smelling oil. If you sniff dip, it is not overpowering. I'm perceiving carrot oil. I think that's all. But there are other oils in this um, sunscreen. So now I'm going to talk about the active ingredients slash the sunscreen filters. This contains... Avobenzone at 
homosalate at 15%, octisalate at 5%, and octocrylene at 10%. Guys, I just noticed something. If you're going to be spraying this on your face or body, and you want to wear white, for example, you have to be very careful because this actually stained my bed sheet. So be careful. So guys, I want to add that this is different from all the spray sunscreens I have tried on my body, like the Intrigena one and I think La Roche Posay. And I must say that I really do like this particular one. I just like how it feels on my body. There's no cast. It feels moisturizing it's not greasy but just note that you're going to see a bit of radiance like you can see that here i apply the sunscreen and here i don't have sunscreen and my entire face has sunscreen and it looks good it's not sticky but remember it can stain your white this would be so good when you're going for a run just spray this where it will be exposed and on your face you can either use it on your face as well or go in with a lotion based sunscreen this will be really good for when you're going for walks especially when it's sunny and you're wearing a flip-flop just spray this on your legs and also if you're going out and um of course here is always exposed aside from when you're wearing gloves um just spray this on <laughs> blend it in and go out and if you're going to do your nails ladies or guys this would be really great for you to take to the spa or a salon wherever you do your nails this happens to now be my favorite spray sunscreen on the body after this comes large procedure Trigena is still like the last of them all and um yeah i think that's cool guys i really did enjoy using this spray sunscreen I still don't know if I'm going to get the adult version to compare. For now, this is really good. <laughs> like, really good. And for the price, $11.99. Don't sleep on it. Do not sleep on it. Go get it. Go get it. Summer is here. We have to all wear sunscreen. I'm not saying you shouldn't wear sunscreen when it's not summer. But you get my point. If you're going to the beach and you don't, want, you don't have time for lotion to be squeezing the tube, this will just be the perfect guy and you just have to blending yeah that's all guys for this video let me know in the comment section if you're going to be purchasing this sunscreen or if you already have it what you think about it i'd like to know in the comment section with that being said we've come to the end of this video i hope you guys found my video helpful if you did please give this video a thumbs up like it share it subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye guys, thank you so much for watching this video.